Good afternoon. Uh, we have James Oakey, Head of Horticulture at Unwin Seeds, and James is going to be showing us uh, a pretty special bit of kit. It's the Unwin Sweet Pea Propagator Kit. Good afternoon, James. Good afternoon. Welcome. Just receive the Sweet Pea Propagator Kit. And it arrives like this. It is a windowsill propagator kit, hence it is windowsill shaped. It's a bit windy here today, so bear with me. Inside the propagator, when you get it out, you've got some deep cells to ready to plant. You've got some sweet pea fertilizer that you use when you actually put them in the ground. And then the propagator base itself is very special. It's black on the outside to absorb the heat, and it's white inside to reflect the light around as the seedlings grow. In the kit, you get some labels, a marker pen, some snips to snip off the flower heads to encourage more blooms. Also, some water saving pads and you get a couple of starter bags of compost to get your kit growing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to sow some sweet peas. Fill with loose leaf of compost. So it just it does spread around a little bit. Fill it loosely. Shake it so it's level and then just lightly firm. Grab the base of another pot, another cell slightly firm it in. This creates a small indent, perfect for the seeds. Give it a good soak and let it drain away. With the sweet pea seeds, put out the top, be careful not to get rid of the name. So is this, an, is, this is an ideal time in January to start seeding, James? It's perfect now. Sweet peas, you can sow them in the autumn through the months of October and get a little bit of growth on them and keep them cool over the winter months. Don't let them get too high, that's the main thing. You can always chop the tops out to encourage them to regrow. Then what I would carefully do is just sprinkle some more loose compost over the surface. And again, just lightly firm down. Again, just give that top one last quick water just to hold it firm. And then with your propagator base, I find my water mats. And these mats are very clever. What they do is they soak up excess moisture within the tray, but then they also release it slowly back into the plant. So you lay it within the water segment in the bottom of the tray, you can see here there's lots of grid lines and these grid lines help create drainage and also help hold water within the tray so it's, it's self-fulfilling, it's self-watering, you don't really have to do too much to it. So this kit would be ideal then for a beginner James, someone who's never tried sowing seeds before? Perfect for the beginner, it gets, it, it gets everything off to a great start. Don't forget, top tip, write a label with the free pen, the label that you get in the pack and pop it in the tray. Okay, the lid is very special too. So on this way, the ventilation holes are closed and you only you keep them closed when, when you're germinating. And you'll get lots of steam on the inside and that is perfect. Look at them every few days, and just see if there's any signs of germination. And by germination, I mean a green tip coming through the compost. As that green tip emerges, just take careful note, is it wet enough? Feel to touch, does it feel damp? It wants to feel damp, not wet. And as, as the plants grow, you turn the lid around 90 degrees and it opens the ventilation holes and this allows fresh air in and makes it a much nicer condition to grow in. Thank you very much James, looks like a fab kit and I can't wait to try and plant some seeds.